Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the SAME Foundation. The donation we received from Intubase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you would like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn. Welcome back to the studio for the fourth race, which is the Tab Gold Score 6 and Score 10 Merit Rated 65 Handicap. 1600 metres, you know by now that we're at Hollywood Beds Gravel on the Poly Track 1600. And Raheel, it's a full field at this stage of the game. 12 runners plus 3 reserves. Scratchings and jockey changes will come closer to the race time. So check all that. But for me, it's a handicap at the 65 level where the average rating is 60 full field I find it very very trappy but in saying that I haven't really made my decision yet whether I'm going to put all my eggs in one basket uh, or not because I don't know if it's a race where we should be putting all our eggs in one basket but I am of the opinion that horse number seven majestic power whom I think is still very well treated by the handicapper was a 58 went to a 60 60 to 63 uh, has been winning but has been getting a few points here and there but nothing outrageous i think he's got an undeniable chance of reading off the hat trick i think he's a horse to be with you just based on the fact that he's he's winning he's in good form and you, you're quite right he is quite leniently treated by the handicap but just going off five points for his latest two victories beating american dream and brave voyager obviously bigger field he's going to have more competition and he's drawn out uh, in gate number seven won't be easy but he's also that attendee where i can get into a decent position and uh, he'll be doing his best work at the finish whether the drop in trip will affect him down to 1600 meters i don't think so but he's a horse that, uh, just based on the fact that he's a horse with confidence on his side. I'm actually hoping for the reserve runner number 13 exceed expectation to get into the race because I think he's dropped down to the right mark of 56. Last time out, I'm just going to say that it was too far for him, 1,900 meters. And if he does get into the race number 13, I think he's going to be a serious, serious contender for top honors with just 55 and a half cages on the back. And it will be interesting to see... Uh, who does right if he does happen to get into the race. So he's a horse that I'll be keeping an eye on and uh, come 10 o'clock on Monday, crossing my fingers and hoping to see his uh, name in the card running. But um, apart from him, Majestic Power, obviously the one to beat you. Healthy respect for the likes of uh, number 10 action stations, who I think can bounce back to better form given that he's now dropped in the ratings. He's on a mark of 66, one and a half cages off the back once again. I think number four, Arrows Marks, number five, Halibos, number six, Vengeance Forever, all horses that have to be included into the mix. So if anything, place accumulator wise, I think maybe you could take a chance and go two, three horses, but pick six wise, I think you've possibly got to go the field here. I'm going to do that, take your advice and, and probably take two pick six perms and I suggest to the viewers maybe to do the same. One where we could go field or include as many as, as, as possible and then in the other one I'm going to be aggressive and take a chance because that's what this game's about, taking a chance, taking a gamble and uh, bankering number seven, Majestic Power. My name is Beston, I live in Cape Town and also I do uh, delivery. Interbet helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town.